Um, so first off, thank you, because this is a great opportunity to get the message out. And I see the tweets on Twitter. I can't always respond to them. Um, here is the story. This is a stock, just for perspective, that over the last two years, going back to before the pandemic, has had four times the return of the S&P 500. I think it's going to beat the S&P 500 mightily over the next year. But with that sort of return, volatility comes. Now, let me, so let me just stress that point. You can't have those returns without some breathtaking dips, but the fundamentals are very strong here. Yes, some people will, sell, will say steel prices are down by 25% from their recent highs, but iron ore prices are down 40%, which means margins are expanding and volume is picking up as autos get produced, as infrastructure gets spent. And by the way, yesterday, Intel announced they're building a $20 billion fab in Ohio which is the home state of Cleveland, which is the town after which Cleveland Cliffs is named. I, you know, I can connect the dots, but let me cut to the chase. The free cash flow from this company right now and for the foreseeable future is tremendous. It's on the order of 25% plus relative to the market cap, a 25% free cash flow yield. There are about to be massive share buybacks uh, because they're almost done delevering the balance sheet. So this volatility, while it stinks, is something you've just got to get through. And I'm not selling a share. I'm not gonna try to trim this. Uh, I didn't use this as a cash raise for the correction that I'm seeing. Uh, I'm staying with this because I see very good gains ahead, much better than the S&P 500.